You with the Urban Sports Scene here at University of Maryland Eastern Shore with University of Maryland Eastern Shore Women's Head Basketball Coach Fred Bachelor. Tough loss tonight, Coach. Losing to Norfolk State, 80 to 59 at home. Coach, you position yourself. Uh, your team has positioned yourself as one of the best teams in the conference this year. But uh, playing against what is the best team in the conference right now um, came up a bit short tonight. What went wrong for you? Uh, it started on Saturday. I thought Saturday uh, we didn't play the type of basketball. I didn't recognize us on Saturday, and uh, and I not that I would expected this, but I didn't think we were in a position to beat a team like this. Did I expect this? Not necessarily this. However, uh, I think everything happens for a reason. Uh, sometimes all you have is your faith, uh, and we have 12 days to address this. Moving on to our next opponent, uh, we will be a better team. This is not who we are. And uh, we're going to address those issues and, and, and come out ready to play the next time we get on the floor. Because is that the reason why earlier you went with a whole new five in that first in that first quarter mm -hmm. to replace your five? Is that some of the energy with lack of some energy or whatnot? Is something? I thought that? we were intimidated. Okay. I okay. thought we was let's call it what it looked like. I okay. thought we were intimidated. I said at the end of the day, you know, she still had thirty. <laughs> like like she's she gonna get hers. And she's that talented of a player. But I didn't think we imposed our will. We they imposed their will on us, and we provided no resistance in our home court. And it just reminds me of, you know, my time of growing up. <laughs> my mom used to say, you better be more afraid of me than your friends. <laughs> and those people that you gotta go out there and deal with. And there's some things that we have to address in our program to make sure that we're playing at a championship caliber level. Cause I think the young ladies that I have is a championship level team. However, it's on me to make sure I, I get them to that point. How are they in the locker room right now? What's the vibe from them? I'm um, not, not happy with um, you know some of the things that I had to talk to them about, uh, but uh, I don't think they would call me a liar either. So uh, I think they, I have a great group of kids, man. I love I love this group. Uh, they, they have great character. Uh, I believe we're going to bounce back from this. This is my expectation, but we got some hard work to do to get there, and we got to address the issues that are holding us back from being a championship level team. Coach, you mentioned Saturday, and I want to just – Ask you to elaborate just a bit further because to start the season, I know the team was kind of focused on Howard after how last season and the tournament ended. Was that like a hangover uh, in your eyes? Hey, you know what? You know, Howard is one of our most prestigious universities in the country. And sometimes we can get enamored with, and, it, and they had an event, we get enamored with what they have to offer and sometimes lose our identity. And I thought, we went up there on Saturday and we just played. We didn't. We didn't establish our identity. Uh, we had no will. We put up no real resistance. I thought. I thought we allowed them to do what they wanted to do, uh, and it looked like we competed against them, but not really. That was not the team that we had. We had been played 20 games with. So I'm looking forward to the fact that between Howard and tonight, uh, that you know, if we didn't. If we didn't see it Saturday. We damn sure saw it tonight, and uh, it's something that we're going to address and improve and improve as a result of. All right, Coach, look forward to seeing you bounce back, man. Appreciate your time. Will do. Appreciate the support. All right. Yeah.